Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. Today we are in Florence. Well, we got in last night and we got it in around, I think 10, 10.30. Luckily our Airbnb was really close to the train station. So we just walked on over here and yeah, there was cobblestone. So we had to like push our luggage through the streets, but it wasn't horrible. And the train station was very interesting because we got there like a good hour earlier the train ended up being 20 minutes delayed and then also it doesn't tell you like what platform it's at until like 15 minutes out which was kind of stressing us out so that was interesting and then also you had to like pay for the bathrooms at the train station it was like one euro but it still kind of caught us off guard and i wanted to mention something about the toilets that i kept forgetting in the last vlog I noticed that the toilets are so thin on the edges like you think that you didn't put the toilet seat down because it is just like kind of uncomfortable and I guess it's good because I feel like in America it's so comfortable that we sit there for hours. <laughs> the first place we went to was Positano so I will have that vlog linked down below. There's two days of rain which unfortunately had followed us to Florence so today it hasn't rained yet but last night it was starting to rain once we got in and it says on the radar it might start rating at 1 or 12. So we have like three hours because it's currently 9 a.m. to go sightsee. This is literally right outside of our Airbnb. Prada, all these beautiful, stunning designer stores, and then the Duomo. <laughs> it seems to be a long, long line to walk up this thing. The views will be worth it. We got up all the way in the front and realized we actually did have to purchase tickets. I thought it was free. So there's <laughs> tickets over there by the blue flags right here. Move your head, you're blocking it <laughs> right there. And I was like, there, there has to be a way to buy it online because the ticket line ended up being longer than the actual line to go in. And so I finally asked the people in front of us and they helped us to get the tickets because it's not very like easy to find them online. Um, but now, of course, the line is like moving so slow. It's like 10 a.m. and the lines have like doubled since like we got here. So definitely come early if you want to climb the tower and just see the Duomo. Stairs are this small. Yeah. They only have one stairs that like <coughs> the people come down on and we go up one. And it's scary. It feels like you're about to fall back. We just made it out when it started raining, so everyone has umbrellas. We don't, but we're gonna try to find one. We just got done eating and we walked out and it's not raining, thank God. So we have a little pocket of peace. We're gonna go to the barber. Off. For Ryan because his his what's it called? Beer trimmer. Beer trimmer. It blew up. Yeah. Converter. The fuse broke in Positano, so we're gonna get him all trimmed up. Got that Italian style. My neck shave. I'm gonna pay for it. You know, it's totally cheap to get everything to shave. Yeah. I'm gonna shave my neck and trim. You might need to get more euros too, but I'm very mm. thankful it stopped raining and the pasta was really good. We had Ooh. eggplant parmesan and some oh, truffle yeah. pasta. I feel like every corner is just so pretty here. You could get lost very easily here because everything looks the same. Yeah. Like you'd be turning the corner and it looks like in the same place. It's lost. So true. Corner, you know? Yeah. 
We're gonna need to buy another suitcase to take all this back with us. Okay, I don't know what this area is called, but there's so many leather goods everywhere. Everywhere. It never ends. So it's a one hour wait. It's uh, <laughs> just get the beard trim. No, it's appointment only apparently, so. No, I thought he said no appointment. He said, he said I don't have an appointment, so it's only one hour wait. Oh. You know what, you do use appointments usually. I didn't approve of this baby face, sir. A little doughy, but chubby boy fuck. I oh, know. And he said it was five Italian euros. Man. Right? Five euros? Yeah. I wonder if you got like a little design. <laughs> Would it be more? Probably. Yeah, right. He just shaved it all off. Uh, It's eight o'clock, it's a little bit later, and the sun, as you can see, is starting to peak out. It stopped raining just at 6 p.m., but I had a little bit of work to do. Ryan took a nap, and so we, <laughs> yeah, two naps, and so we just chilled in the hotel room for a while. Um, but now we're gonna get some dinner. It's not gonna be pasta or pizza. I'm kind of like over it. Ryan could definitely eat it for every meal. But I think we're gonna go eat some Indian food. Ryan found this place on Yelp, and it looked really good, so we're gonna, yeah, yeah we're gonna check it out. I forgot to say that we went to Zara earlier to try and find me a jacket <laughs> or just like some long sleeves like literally just like a couple more layers but we couldn't find anything because they have all their spring styles out and so I'm just like literally layered up in Ryan's quarter zip one of my sweaters my my other like turtleneck the only freaking sweater I brought I mean, it's not cold right now, but if I didn't have all this on, I'd definitely right, be cold. It's 53. It's 53 right now? I mean, I'm so dramatic. I'm so cold. I don't know why I didn't bring more layers, but I knew it just like wouldn't fit in the suitcase, so it kind of sucks, but moral of the story, if you see that it's cold weather, pack layers because you don't want to be miserable. We just saw this, Italy, which we actually went to in Dallas, if it's the same thing, which I think it is because the branding looks very similar. And it has a little store, and, and yeah, that's cool. I'm so excited about this place because they have literally everything you could ever imagine. So it's South and North Indian food, but there's literally everything. There's, first of all, chicken lollipop. There's chicken 65 up here, two favorites. We have literally every chicken curry you could ever imagine. Soup ball, samosas. Pop it on. I haven't had that in so long. Oh, mutton. You gotta get the goat. <laughs> and we have all these vegetarian dishes. They even have this, which is what my dad always cooks me for breakfast. Oh, and this is where my mom's family's from, Kerala. So that's South Indian. Then over here, we have every biryani you could ever imagine. And every kind of bread, so this one, chapati, naan, roti, like, goodness, I'm shook it. I've never seen something like this. Oh, and all these lassies, even rose lassie, like, I've never even heard of that. And gulab jamun, should we get that? What? You're a hater. <laughs> It's so good, babe. Up first, mango lesson. But one. No, I know. Up first today. <laughs> Yummy, huh? Next up, lemon soda. It's very interesting. I, I've had like, I think Jira or something like that. It doesn't taste like that. I thought it would taste like that, but it's not bad. I think that's honey with a local, but it has local honey in it. No, literally. Hot lemon water with local it's honey. It's like Sprite with some like cumin seeds in it, or whatever these seeds are. We got chicken lollipop and chicken 65. Sounds like bang. I think it's the same thing. So it is pretty, pretty much the same thing. Oh, he was like, you want to that? Here is the butter chicken, Kerala mutton curry, and some butter naan. Dinner was so good. It definitely hit the spot. What do you think? You're welcome. <laughs> I know. Ryan gets a brownie point for that one. Now we're just kind of out and about, walking around, burning off the calories. I was just telling Ryan, I feel like I haven't walked this much in so long this past like whole week 
and like climbed a lot of stairs. Yeah. Um, and we did, we both didn't bring our Apple watches, but My phone tells me things to check. Oh out, yeah, I wonder what how many steps we've done today because we walked you. a lot. Right now it says we're at twelve thousand seven hundred eight. I think it's less than that. So you do the spiral staircase. It doesn't know you're doing that. You know. Oh, that's less than what we did. I think so. I think we've done that more. That equals out to like. So you think you've done more now than we did the. In Positano. No, I think you did more now. Oh. Just after dinner, and then we did at the place. Oh, okay. The stairs, okay. you know. Yeah. So I don't think you really got there that. There were 438 steps, right? Something like that. Oh, nice! Double Start your average. average. Yeah. Good job. Do these all. Wow, this is such a detailed report. My weekly highlights. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> My average is 8,000, which just doesn't seem right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do anything ever. Yeah. <laughs> there are so many designer stores around here, and I love looking at all of their window displays because they're so, like, cool and interesting. There's, like, hands, and I don't know. It just looks super cool. It's day two in Florence and it's our official last day here and I finally put makeup on actually did my hair because my face is feeling a hundred times better it's there's still like texture there's still like bumps but it's not like as irritated as like the past two days I literally don't know what happened but I'm guessing it just got so freaking cold when we went to Ravello and just like the last few days of Positano so like I just feel like my skin just reacted to that because I've been using the same products that I've been using at home and it was perfectly fine. So I'm just blaming it on the weather and hopefully from now on out, it's gonna be warmer and my skin's gonna be better because that was not fun. I just feel like I didn't even wanna talk. My lips were all like gross and it was just like so itchy and just like irritated. It sucked, but I kind of think I jinxed myself because I literally told Ryan, I was like, I really hope my skin doesn't like flare up on vacation. Also, I've had this dry patch on my neck and I've had eczema like I grew up having severe eczema the last time I had like a super severe breakout was I don't even know like middle school maybe and like yeah I've been eating a lot of dairy and they said I was allergic to dairy but I eat this much dairy when I'm at home so like nothing's really different like I've been taking my lactate pills but I have like another flare-up on the other side of my neck and I'm like mm, I just hate this so again I'm blaming it on the weather but I'm feeling 100% better today and the rain has kind of cleared. There's like literally like an hour where it says 30% today in, in Florence. So I'm thanking God for that and just praying that Venice tomorrow is the same, just like cleared up. So we're going to go out for some coffee for Ryan and I was thinking maybe like crepes. We'll see what we can find. Yesterday, Ryan got brownie points for taking me to an Indian restaurant. It was so good. So today, he's taking me somewhere else that he found. And I love this. You know? You should do this more often. You should do this in Austin. Yeah, that's true. But I feel like in Austin, I definitely have more of like my like favorites, yeah, my opinions and stuff. But definitely makes it easier. <laughs> when we were in Positano, we actually had Florentine steak, which is like a delicacy here in Florence. So that's why we're not eating it here because we already had it and it was just kind of like any other steak. I think the one guy at a restaurant said that the difference is that like it's really rare inside. I was just telling Ryan how cool would it be if there was like a custom setting to just bring up the iPhone camera really quick, like tapping something three times or something like that because I feel like I always see something that I want to take a photo of or video of and it's like, like the moment is gone by the time I get my freaking camera to open. One double tap would be... Oh my god, that is so cool. Does it actually work? Let's try it. But what if it's locked? Because I want it to be like locked. It has to be unlocked. Great show. Stupid case. Stupid case. Well, that's cool. Okay, well, I guess I just have to tap it really hard or something. Like in the right place. Oh my god, that's so cool. It did it, guys. 
It literally that's did like it. It's an accessibility. <laughs> and you can like, like customize the double tap. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, but it depends Yay. on Yay! for Liberation Day, the gelato guy told me. Mm -hmm. So it celebrates the end of World War II and uh, defeating the Nazis. It's so much busier than yesterday since it's a holiday and there's like this huge line. We kind of think it's for the tower, but it might be just for the Duomo, but it literally keeps on going, which is kind of crazy. We're coming up on a piazza. How far are we from breakfast? One minute. Nice. <clears throat> Look at this. The cafe we're going to is in this museum right here. Cafe del Veron. Mm. Cafe is only open at 12. Probably because it's a holiday. It's <laughs> yeah. There's only drinks and like maybe a pastry or two. And there's also cocktails, so if you want to come here later, let's see. Yeah, cocktails. Ooh, they have a mojito. Oh, look at this view. It's insane. It's insane. I know, it's really quiet. Everyone just got seated. <laughs> so we're like whispering, but. Thank you. I got an iced uh, latte mochiato. I got a fresh squeezed orange juice. And we got pastries. <laughs> Not really sure what they are, but <laughs> he didn't we'll see. We got pastries. Okay. It's very light. This literally tastes like... Uh -huh. Wait. It literally tastes like a marshmallow and what's that? Cereal? Yeah, with the charms taste out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just like a shortbread cookie. You get more brownie points for this one. Good, good job. This pizza place good. Yeah, um, we're gonna get pizza now. <laughs> so we're, we're just eating in Florence, but hey, that's how we like to do traveling. Just like eat everything in sight. But um, yeah, so we're gonna get pizza because they didn't really have food here. We got the pastries, but they didn't really suffice. We're definitely gonna need some fuel for today. Um, and Ryan has a call later, so we have to go back to the Airbnb. I'm gonna do some work and then we're gonna go to Piazza Michelangelo, I think that's what it's called. And then there's like a rose garden there. Hopefully it's really pretty because it's like spring right now. So I'm hoping they're bloomed. And then there's also, I think a church over there to see. So we're gonna do that later, but first pizza. It's gotten really cold <laughs> all of a sudden. So we're like <laughs> bundled up, literally like five minutes later. So that was the most expensive place we've eaten yet. Yeah. And we just got like a coffee, orange juice and two little cookies. Uh-huh, how much was that? Uh, that was 17 euros. And the other night, I think the first we night we got to Florence, we literally got Sprite, two, two pizzas, <laughs> beer, Sprite, and, yeah. for $17, right? It was 17. Euros, yeah. There's 17 euros, yeah. But like, even we would go to like uh, a nice Italian place yesterday, everything was 50 or less, no, it was like 35 or something. Yeah. Pretty cheap. Yeah. Um, the yeah, Indian we got, like, place. The are like $5, you know, so it was like water's like two. Yeah, the cocktails here are pretty cheap. At that place, they were like, Kind of like, $12, yeah, $15. normal price, just like Austin, but yeah, you know, I feel like, here, like 20 bucks, which is yeah, nice. I feel like things here are pretty affordable We're for food at least. This I guess way? it depends it's on where way. you go. No, it's definitely this way. Where am I going?
Nice. Ryan bought literally like five <laughs> Carhartt nice. shirts for this freaking trip and look at that. They have their own storefront in Florence. You said I was not trendy. Okay, well these look better, but like the t-shirts you bought, it just wasn't the vibe. <laughs> And now we're in the stores and I want everything. Like I've never seen all of this before. <laughs> I literally just want to buy it all. Also, Sherpa sandals. Sold. Sold. Yeah, it's gonna be way too hot for them, but I love them. Okay, so I don't know if I can buy a designer bag, but I'm kind of loving these brown belts with the gold symbol. I, I just don't know if I like Louis Vuitton, but I'm literally wearing a gold belt today. It just is from Amazon, I'm pretty sure, but like, I think it would be so cute to have like a really nice designer belt. I'm getting this for Sophie, okay? You good with that? Yeah. We'll split it. <laughs> she would die. <laughs> okay, can I have this in my house, please? It's humongous. It's crazy. I was really hoping for a neutral one, but Ryan was like, just do it. Get the pink one, and it's actually perfect. It feels really nice. We're at Pont. Pont. Mm, how do you say it? Pont Vecchio. Vecchio, I think. Bridge to the water. There's so many watches all over this place. Ryan's in love, huh? Yeah, I know you're filming. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have on right now? Rolex. Rolex? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Rings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Ryan's dream wedding watch. When I get married, that's what I have to get instead of my wedding ring. When we get married, get, sir. Get when we get married. You and I get married. Apparently, I'm gonna <laughs> get my, them that. It's my day. <laughs> no, it's my day. <laughs> we were just at Ponte Vecchio Bridge, and so we just crossed over. And this side is so cute. Like, I love it. We're gonna head to the Rose Garden first, and then the Piazza Michelangelo to see, like, the really nice view. such a vibe right here. I don't know where we're eating dinner, but maybe we can find somewhere over here on the side. It's really pretty. It's a game changer that the sun is out. So we're really, really hoping that the sun stays out the whole rest of our trip. It was a vibe when it was raining, but like, it's so pretty and blue and just green. Um, but we have some bad news. We aren't able to see the David statue because all the tickets are sold out. So pro tip, buy your tickets before you even come on the trips because I don't know how many they allow, um, but we're gonna definitely look at some Rome tickets because we have like five days until Rome. There were some tickets like literally the day after we leave, which sucks, but oh well, we'll just have to come back to Florence. This is stunning. Look at this view. Everyone's taking a little appetizer. <laughs> Some people have brought snacks too. Oh, there's a fountain. The view just keeps getting better the more up we go. We were just taking some lens buddy photos, you know, setting up the phone, self-timer. Ryan, 
<laughs> yeah, they are. The, he just freaking pretended like he was gonna propose to me. And you know what? When I was getting my freaking nails done, everyone was like, do you think he's gonna propose? I'm like, <laughs> anyways, we're not getting married anytime soon, everyone, okay? <laughs> just kidding. We're too young for that, you know? I love you. Drinks up here are those spritzes. Only five euros. This is perfect because if you walk up through the Rose Garden, you get to Piazza Michelangelo, which is probably the best view in Florence. People are here. Oh my god. <laughs> he's lucky he's tall. You're lucky you're tall. I'm gonna go over with your camera? Maybe. <laughs> These restaurants are just like little drink places, right? On the views. Well, this isn't really a vibe for them. <laughs> I was just thinking if you're sitting right here and have all these people right here in front blocking the view, kind of sucks. All right, we're gonna get a Sprite. <laughs> Sounds good. Ooh, is that Orangina? We should get that. The, oh wait, what is that? What's the orange one? What's that one? Fanta? What the, f why does it look like that? <laughs> Cheers. Yum. Thank you. We made it up. I guess you can park up here. There's all these street vendors. where we ended up stopping to eat. It's such a vibe out here. <laughs> we got some wine, came in these bottles. Yeah, fuck. Is this beer? This place is actually called Palazzo Tempe. Right here. No, that's not what I said. I said Terrazzo Soprano, I don't know why. But I think this is what I'm gonna get. Garlic, olive oil, chili pepper, breadcrumbs on Parmesan cream. Sounds delicious. This is the first thing we got. So we ordered a Moscato, but why is it in a whiskey glass? <laughs> it's kind of freaking me out. I'll try like order wine wrong again, but here we go. That's like the sweetest Moscato. Yeah, it was in like the nightcap section, so it's literally a dessert wine, I think. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should just stop ordinary wine because I don't know what I'm doing. Final attempt. We got some red wine. You think this is it? Okay, let's try it. It's wine. It's wine? It's wine. not a beer. Oh, okay. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I'm like not a big wine drinker, so. It's <laughs> <laughs> my worst fear. I always tell him not to leave me. Why are you so fucking mean? I mean, it's a cross walk. You're mean. Oh my god, how pretty this is, huh? <laughs> Dinner was yummy. What do you think? It was very good. Should I be? You know what the Kubrick? Oh, most expensive meal we've had, right? You stand back? In Florence. Yeah, it's the Kubrick's thing. 
Okay, babe. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go home. What do you think? Do you want to walk so around? Cold. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A I hot think shower. It's time to go home. We're leaving in the morning. Saying bye to Florence. We were here for two days, and just want to thank God. Shout out because he made the blue skies appear for yeah. our last day, and really praying <clears throat> that he pulls through for Venice. Supposed to be raining tomorrow, but then the next day um, it's supposed to be sunny. But like we're literally there for like 24 hours, and we go to Rome, which is my favorite because I did this two week study abroad thing in Rome. Oh yeah, local! Oh my god, <laughs> I'm like such a local. No, I'm kidding. But I did something with EF learning learning tours, I think. Is this an and ad? what? Is this an ad? Huh? Is this an ad? No, it's not an ad, but it was back then. They actually sponsored my trip. I got flown out to Italy and paid for it. It was like literally insane. My Both my parents thought it was a scam. <laughs> it was not a scam, but it was the coolest thing. And I'm really excited to go back to Rome and show Ryan Rome. And it's just been really special being here with Ryan because I've always dreamed about Can coming to Italy right with... Now? What? You're giving a wedding speech right now? Yeah, I'm giving a little speech right now. <laughs> Little little glass of wine, and I'm just like, I want to say all my words. So, yeah. You had like four this glasses. This is like a dream. Like, what? <laughs> you had like four glasses of wine. I did not. And a beer. I did not. I barely drink it. Guys, I don't think my taste buds are like ready for this. Even tequila, last... soda, and chica. I don't think you drink. Yeah, I, I'm I'm a tequila kind of gal, but Lost even in, in Texas. even in. Um, the other Italy vlogs, like when I was here for that Rome thing, I was so sad because I was like, shit, I'm going to Italy. I don't even like really like wine. I don't like the spritz thing. I had a spritz, it was disgusting. Ryan loves them, but they taste like cough syrup to me. And one of my friends that I was just with, she was like, oh, it kind of tastes like a grapefruit. And I'm like, the most bitter grapefruit you've ever fucking it's the tasted. Peel grapefruit. It's yeah, disgusting. the white part of it. It's literally disgusting. They're stunning. I love the way they look. So Not I literally pasta. stole her spritz for a photo when we were in Positano. But I took a sip, it counted. I, I took a sip of counts. Um, like anyways. pasta, carbonara. Yeah, I'm really excited for Rome, but first Venice, and that'll be tomorrow. So I'm really excited. I guess we'll end the vlog here. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram. I'm not sure what we're coming up on, but I see a lot of statues with <laughs> their things out. But I don't think Mr. David's here. I think you have to pay to see him, so. But this is pretty cool. I mean, like, I mean, that guy looks like him right here. These men are really toned, huh? Mm -hmm. Sophie, is that you? 